Solar flares can literally put on some of the most out of this world spectacular light shows that we've ever seen. But what are they and can they impact Earth? Well, let's take a closer look. It all starts out with the sun, right? And on the sun, there are sunspots, which are basically magnetic storms on the surface of the sun. Now, solar flares are intense blooms of radiation that come from the release of magnetic energy associated with these sunspots. Now, this is impressive and cool to look at, but you know, some of you might find it unnerving because you may have heard in the news about how a solar flare superstorm of sorts could wipe out Earth as we know it. Well, not really true. The explosive heat of a solar flare just can't make it all the way to our globe. What it can do is temporarily alter the Earth's upper atmosphere, and that creates disruptions with signal transmissions from, say, a GPS satellite to Earth, causing it to be off by a few yards. Now, there is another phenomenon produced by the sun that could be even more disruptive. This called coronal mass ejection, or shortened CME. CME solar explosions can propel bursts of particles and electromagnetic fluctuations into Earth's atmosphere and cause geomagnetic storms. And these storms interfere with all kinds of modern technology on Earth, like electrical power grids or communication systems and satellites. But you know what? Scientists at NASA and NOAA say that we should treat this just like any other type of threat, like a hurricane threat. Just as they issue hurricane watches and warnings to prompt people to take precautions, NASA and NOAA can also give warnings to electric companies or spacecraft operators and airline pilots before a CME comes to Earth so that they can take precautions as well. So it's something to watch for, but don't panic just yet. Weather Channel headquarters, one to beam back.